All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Tracking Station Evolved mod, which is being made by forum user DMagic. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a whole new way of viewing the list of your vessels in the Tracking Station. And I love this mod it's wonderful it always kind of bothered me that the default view in the tracking station was just such a basic bare bones list now eventually they added the toggles along the top which did help but still it always seemed just so simple and now thanks to dmagic we have a variety of options as to how you view that list so let's jump into the tracking station and right off the bat you're gonna notice something very different about the left hand side it's no longer just a long list of all of your ships we now at least in the default view here have a list of celestial bodies but that's not the only way to view this list. We could also look at it by hitting this button here by ship type. Very similarly, of course, to the toggles up here along the top. Or we could have the more basic traditional view by clicking this button here. This will look the most familiar to all of you. Where basically, yeah, it's just a list of all of the ships in the game. But for me... I, I, I love this one. It's, it's my favorite. I love just the simplicity of the fact that I can look here and go, Oh, hey, yeah, I have a ship around Duna. I can click Duna, and look, I now see the ship, and I can click it. Or if, hey, I don't need that ship anymore, and I want to look at Moho, well, there we go. We would then just click on Moho. Or similarly, we can click on Kerbin, where we're then also shown the moon and minmus i love it it's great it offers you a tree list view of all of your things and that is just so wonderful to have and having it sorted by celestial body well frankly it just makes me happiest that's probably the most useful view i've seen in this game now a few other things about it of course as well is already obvious and we've talked about you got each button for each celestial body we then also have a number on that button now you probably already guess what that number is for from duna and moho because well there's one satellite around duna so we have a one there we have one around moho so we have a one that is the number of ships or satellites survey probes whatever around that celestial body which brings us to kerbin which has three plus two now this, what it's showing us is that we have three objects around Kerbin, this survey satellite, this survey satellite, and a jumping flea, but we also have that plus two, which is for the moons. We have one satellite around the moon, and I also have one satellite around Minmus. And so there you go. That's what that three plus two means. Basically, the ones in parentheses are showing you whatever ships are around the moons. And that, that is great. You know exactly where everything is. And it's just useful. Now, right next to that, we have a row of dots. And this is also quite nice to have. What this allows you to do is click and hold and resort your celestial bodies. Same thing here in the probe view. I can, or probe rather, probe view. I can click and drag along each of these to sort them however I prefer so if I want the probes up top I can do that now we don't have the ability to drag and drop the ships within those categories but we still can sort them it'll be easiest to see here in the sort of traditional list view as we do just have a list now uh, how we can sort these is with these two buttons right here we have the choice of either sorting by its time since launch its name a to z what kind of ship it is so again going along with these toggles 
and then what celestial body it's around. And with the button just to the left of that, we can do it ascending or descending order, which of course for time means newest or oldest at the top, whichever you like. A to Z, of course, well, changes it to Z to A. And you can go back and forth. And this does also work inside of these views as well. So we sort by uh, the time. We can change that around. You can see the jumping flea going from the top and bottom of that particular list. So we do have not just the ability to sort by celestial body or by ship type or just have the big old traditional list. We can also change how each of those lists and sublist are sorted. And of course, we also have a search bar to, you know, search things. Like, just do that. We got the flea. Boom. We got it. And that's just so wonderful to have all of these right here, easy to use. And it just makes finding what ship you're looking for a lot easier. Now, the last real thing to talk about is, of course, well, we also have this button on the ship, which is you know, the standard thing. You click it, you can rename your vessel. And that... Well, that's really it for the Tracking Station Evolve. Not a whole lot to go on about. It is just a wonderful new way of looking at how to sort your ships. Rather than just having a list, we can have celestial bodies or ship types, and you have the ability to move things around at your leisure. It's just good and so very useful. I love this so much. So if you'd like to take a look at this mod for yourself, and I would definitely recommend that you go and do that, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for today, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, now have a good one!